to study about Lohmann-Wall condensation reaction. It's a modification of aldol reaction. What happens in this reaction? Um, an aldehyde or ketone reacts with an activated uh, activated active hydrogen containing compound, which on further dehydration gives us substituted olefin as a product. So um, generally alpha beta conjugated enone is formed in this case. Now what the first question arises what is active hydrogen containing compounds? So the active hydrogen containing compounds are those compounds in which a methylene group has uh, two electron withdrawing groups attached to it. For example, I have taken a reaction here in which I have taken a general aldehyde or ketone. This R1 and R2 can be um, can be aldehyde or ketone. So I have taken this uh, diethylene melonate and in the presence of catalytic amine base, that amine base can be piperidine or pyridine. Uh, so in presence of amine base on dehydration, a substituted olefin is formed. Alright. Now let's see the mechanism. What happens here? I have I have taken uh, instead of uh, some particular active hydrogen containing compound, I have taken a general form. So these Z groups represents the electron withdrawing groups attached to the methylene. So when uh, we have active hydrogen containing compound in presence of base this compound tend to lose its hydrogen. That hydrogen will attach to the base and form BH positive. Alright, and you will get an anion. This is the anion. Similar to the alcohol condensation reaction, there also an anion was generated which attacked on the carbonyl carbon in that direction. So similarly, here an, act, an anion is generated. This anion will act as a nucleophile and it will attack on the carbonyl carbon. So this compound I have written here and it is attacking the carbonyl carbon and the double bond is getting cleaved uh, in order to oxygen to get a negative charge. So this compound is formed. Now let's see what happens. Here the shifting of hydrogen. This hydrogen is getting removed and this proton is getting one hydrogen attached. So what is happening? A H positive transfer is happening. I am not writing here. It will um, get very congested. So what is happening? A rearrangement of proton is happening here. Now this this carbon have a negative charge. It will try to uh, stabilize itself. So it will try to form a double bond and in order to form that bond the OH negative will be released. So let's see what is happening. In the first step a H positive is being lost. In the last step an OH negative is being lost. So these two combine, uh, combine and form a water molecule. So that's why we, we said followed by dehydration reaction. It's removal of a water molecule. That is happening and you're getting substituted olefin. All right. This substitution, if you have a hydrogen, so you will, you will, on this side, you will not have any substitution. If well, it, it's an aldehyde having one alkyl group, you will have one substitution. If it's a ketone, you will have two substitution. And the electron withdrawing group will remain here. So this is wrong angle condensation reaction.